like the space is interesting. You've seen projects, you know, hold huge floors and get huge volume with really no output, just good art, you know? And so like, that's not a layer of it to be like underestimated at the end of the day, like take your time building that. Cause you've only got one shot. Like this is like on the topic of utility and art. I'll give you guys a really interesting observation that I made. But what I'll do is every time somebody announces something, I'll go and see if it moved volume. And so like, for example, if Clonex announces this, did that create volume? And the answer will be yes. I'll be like, oh, that's interesting. And then I'll see like some crazy utility tech stack, you know, crazy thing that somebody made, launched it. I'm like, whoa, this is an amazing tech. Did it move volume? No, it didn't. Wow. Like why? Right. And then you'll see like, and then I'll see like, okay, Azuki will post or Doodles will post a picture of like an art piece. And it will move volume. And I'll be like, like, you just posted a picture of art. Like, that's crazy. You just like move 200 ETH in sales. Like, that's really interesting. But then like this other project that has like, you know, a huge follower base, huge community just released a crazy tech tool. And and it didn't get a single sale, didn't move a single sale. So like, it's just another interesting observation. And while I was doing this exercise, it's one of those things that I found. I was like, dude art is such a huge part of this. Like it was like, I totally, it took me a a couple months to figure it out, but I thought I would have been so focused on the biz dev side. Like how do you create awesome company, real revenue? And then like one part of it, like I totally neglected. And as of recently, I've like put a huge emphasis in the company, but like art style brand book, like how does the story look? How does the world look? Because these things coincidentally move more volume than major partnership or big business development, right? It, it's, it's pretty fascinating. And, and this is an exercise I've been doing from pretty much the beginning. And I've seen people release amazing things that you think would totally double their floor or move the price. And it did absolutely nothing. And then you'll see somebody just drop like a nice piece of art. The whole thing just goes like parabolic. It's just like the most fascinating thing ever. No, you're you're spinning, bro. Bar- oh man, yeah, we should definitely talk more often. Um, yeah, I think while people do want NFTs to move to a place with more utility, you are losing the game over the last year if that's your lens that you've looked at strictly NFTs on. Like if you only look at NFTs strictly on the utility and not the art and not the community and not the brand and all those things, you're actually just like you're playing an imaginary game because that's not what the market is actually saying. You're, you're spot on, Luca. Like, the art matters a lot. No, I, I really like Adam. Quirky. Which one is a, is a genius. He, he's, a, he's really... And look, we, we were very lucky. And there was... And, and I'll, I'll just expand upon what you said around how important art is. Because we, we minted out. We were lucky to mint out. We had a really strong community initially. But we didn't actually pop until our art revealed. So we, our biggest pump on both our Quirkies and Quirklings happened when people actually saw the art, that's when our volume came through. So for people saying that art isn't important in this space, and I think that reiterates your decision that you've made to to revisit it until you think it's perfect, because we actually are only in the position we are today because of the art and then the, the community that fell in love with it. So yeah, totally agree. And I, I'm although it's- we completely need to give value to holders, I think 100%, if you don't love the art, then it's very tough.